So as schools and colleges close their gates to most children on Monday, but nurseries in England have been allowed to stay open. The government says early years settings deliver crucial care and education for youngest children, but one union fears the move could be putting staff and communities at risk. We're joined now by Neil Leach, who is the chief executive of the charity Early Years Alliance. Good morning to you. Thank you very much uh, for being with us this morning. Um, what do you make of, of the, the government's stance on this issue at the minute? We, we received so many messages yesterday from viewers who were concerned about nurseries staying open. Well, I think, to be clear, we're not suggesting that nurseries should be closing, but what we are asking for, and it's not unreasonable, is the scientific evidence that says that we should stay open while primary schools close. And if we are to stay open, then we recognise that we are, you know, absolutely critical for many parents that they have access to early years support. If we are to stay open, then government needs to step up to the plate and give more support. I mean, frankly, we've been completely neglected. We're dictated to, we're told to stay open, but with no consultation whatsoever, just an announcement. And, and, and in fact, it, it, we are about to lose money as a result of basically staying open. So what we want is fairness, equity. Uh, what has been, you, you, you speak quite strongly there. What has been the response of, of others in the industry getting in contact with you in the last 24 hours or so? Well, again, I think it's that. I think they are they, they feel conflicted. They want to stay open, but they are concerned about health, and we cannot ignore that. So we need the scientific evidence, but we should be prioritised in terms of testing and vaccinations. I mean, at the moment, we're at the bottom of the pile. We wouldn't be, I would suggest we would not be having this conversation if we were talking about schools. It seems to me that the Secretary of State for Education thinks that education starts as soon as a child walks through the school gates, and anybody that knows anything about child development knows it starts from birth. So what we ask for is at least some parity, some equity. I mean, this, you know, Gavin Williamson is in charge of the whole education system, not selected parts. And that's how it's been to, to, to date, frankly. And when we were speaking to the government yesterday, um, part of the response that they gave was that uh, the, the feeling that scientists uh, feel that uh, younger children are less likely to pass on the virus. Does that reassure you at all? Well, we've known that for a while, and it, it, it is reassuring, but it was interesting. that Actually, I, th I think on your own programme yesterday, when somebody was asked, a, a member of SAGE was asked, you know, what is the difference? Why should um, early year settings remain open and schools close? He certainly said it was political. He didn't imply that it was due to the scientific evidence. So all we're asking for is for the scientific evidence to be put forward. But we're not just talking about children here. We're talking about adults. We cannot socially distance. This is not about a 13-year-old walking through, as I say, into a school classroom and being able to stay away from you as, as a teacher. These are people that, that spend their lives caring, picking up, um, cuddling, you know, when a child falls over. There is no social uh, distancing whatsoever. And of course, you know, we have to interact with parents. So it's not the same. And to, to just group us in with others and say, well, you know, you're at no greater risk is unfair. And it's not proven at this particular point in time. We really appreciate you coming on this morning. I know that is an issue which has uh, really um, ignited a great debate amongst our viewers, both uh, yesterday and this morning already as well. Thank you very much for talking to us. It's the Chief um, Executive of the Early Years Alliance. Yes, let's talk about 